Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing more of my declutter series right now. Today I'm going to be going through primers and foundations. And I wanted to show you guys these two drawers. They're actually separate, but I stacked them together. I got them at the container store and this is where I keep all of my kind of face products. So currently I have all the foundations and primers down here and then all of my concealers and powders in the top drawer just because that's how I'm gonna divide up these videos so they're not a million hours long, but this is kind of a mess. I'm hoping that we can clean it out and make it a little bit more concise. So if you wanna see all of my foundations and primers and what I decide to keep and what I decide to get rid of, just keep watching. And if you've missed any of the other declutter videos in this series, I will put a playlist down in the description box and up in the cards for you guys, but let's get started. Okay, so I have four kind of eye-related primers here. Um, I don't know what other video to put these in, so we're just gonna do them here really quickly. I have two of these Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is probably the eye primer I use the most because it comes with all of the Lorac palettes, and so every time I've gotten a Lorac palette, it comes with one of these. They last forever. One of these is open. One of them is not yet open. So this is the primer I use the most and I do like it, but I've never actually had to purchase the full size. So I'm keeping both of these. While I've had other eye primers in the past, the only other one I have right now is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I think this uh, primer is fine. This is the original one and it's in the old packaging, but I don't think it's great for dry skin. If you have kind of some dry skin on your eyelids like I do, this tends to dry it out. So I'm going to pass this one on. I think my sister likes this. And then the other eye related primer I have is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I recently talked about this in a drugstore fails video. So you may have guessed this doesn't work for me. So I'm definitely going to see if somebody else likes it. I know it works for some people. It just doesn't actually make a difference for my under eyes. So this is going in the pass pile as well. So that was a very small category, but I'm keeping two and getting rid of two. Okay, next up are face primers. I have nine here, although only three of them are full size. Let's look at those first. The first one I have is the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer Ethereal. And this is like a radiant primer. Um, a friend of mine sent me this probably a year ago and I used it for a while. It's nice, um, but it seems to be kind of separating now. I think it's just a little bit past its prime. I don't know how long she had it before that, but um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna just toss this one because it seems to be changing a little bit and I don't wanna keep putting it on my face. Another one here is the it Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. I love this primer, in especially in the winter when my skin is super dry. It's very moisturizing, yet, I don't know, it's still a little bit smoothing. It just kind of basically feels like an extra layer of moisture, which I cannot get enough of. Um, I've gone through two of these, but I've never paid full price for them, and they're really expensive, so... I don't know if I'll repurchase it maybe next winter if I get desperate, but I do really like this one. I'm definitely keeping it. Speaking of hydrating primers, another one I have here is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, I have actually very mixed feelings about this primer. I have used it a lot and I like it. It is hydrating on the skin like the It Cosmetics Primer, although it also has a little bit of tackiness to it, which should help the foundation last a little bit longer. Some foundations I don't feel like this plays nicely with. I have problems with this under my Maybelline Dream Cushion foundation in particular, but I do like it with other foundations, so I'm definitely going to keep it, and I like it, but I don't think I will repurchase it. A primer that's very similar to that is one of these deluxe size samples. It is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I was really excited to get this and to compare it to the Too Faced primer. It's very similar. It has kind of like a beachy smell, like a, you know that fragrance that they put in some sunscreens? That's what it smells like to me. And it pretty much is like the Too Faced primer. Otherwise, I mean, it performs the same way. It doesn't sit well under that same foundation. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep using it. The more I test it, I don't know, I might do more of a comparison between this and the Too Faced once I have more feelings, but it's definitely worth continuing to use for now. 
Two more that I'm definitely not getting rid of are the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is the second and third of these deluxe size samples I've gone through because I love this primer. It's really, really beautiful, but it's really expensive. I've never bought the full size. I did see it's on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty one day, but I mean, I don't know. I've gone through a lot of deluxe size samples. I probably won't buy the full size, um, but it is gorgeous. And if you want to spend your money on a primer like that, then it's worth it. It's radiant. It's glowy. I tend to put it everywhere on my face except my forehead because <laughs> I don't know, even though I have dry skin, my forehead can get a little bit shiny looking with this primer under it. So I don't think you'll love it if you have oily skin, but I do really like it. Definitely keeping these and using them up. Okay, three more kind of smaller samples here. This Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, I have used a lot. There's actually not very much left. I think it's still good though, so I'm gonna keep it and just finish it up. It's a beautiful primer. It feels, it makes your skin feel like silk. And I don't always love silicone -y primers, but this one is thinner than most of them. Like I prefer this over like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, I would never ever purchase this because it's outrageously priced, but um, I will finish using it up. The Smashbox Primer Oil. I do not know why I haven't used this more. I mean, I love oils. Sometimes I use like my facial oil just to prime my skin. I guess that's why I haven't used it because I already use oils. So I definitely want to test this one out more. So I will keep that. And then this last one I think is going to go. It's the Lorac Porefection Mattifying Face Primer. I don't want to mattify anything on my face. So I think I used this once. Oh, I used this with the um, L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation that I really don't like and that really just makes me look disgusting. And I tried this because it was supposed to be kind of like a pore blurring primer, but it didn't really do anything. So this one is going to go. So that really wasn't a great start with primers. I'm keeping seven and getting rid of two. Here are my foundations. I have 12 here. I don't think I've ever owned 12 foundations at one time before. There are definitely some in here that are going to go mostly drugstore, just a couple that are high end. Let's start right here. This is the Wet n Wild BB Cream 8 in 1 SPF 15 sunscreen. I bought this when I did a full face of Wet n Wild makeup video a long time ago. It's okay, but it's nothing special. I don't really like it. I never wear it. This one is going to go, and I have this in the shade light. I do love this Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I am in the shade 117 or Y225. This is really nice, and I have worn this um, a good bit and for special events and stuff. So this is really the only stick foundation I have, and I think the only stick foundation I've ever really used, but um, it is beautiful and it's expensive. Definitely keeping this one. Okay, now this one we have to talk about. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's relatively new. It's had a lot of buzz on YouTube. And if you watched my recent Drugstore Fails video, that collab that I did with Kaylee, you know that I despise this foundation. I don't think I've ever put on a foundation that made my skin look worse. However, it was in her drugstore best video. She loved it. And she said the reason she likes it is because she started using it with an oil. Um, so I want to try it again and I want to mix in an oil with it. I just haven't had a chance yet because I've been sick and I haven't been wearing makeup. So I think it's going to survive this declutter just because I'm curious enough to want to test it again. But I'm, I'm uh, suspicious that it won't survive the next declutter, but I'm going to give it a chance. So I'm keeping this for now. We will see. L'Oreal True Match, pretty much one of my all-time favorite foundations. I use the color W12. This is empty, so it needs to go. You can see it's like there's nothing in there anymore. I've had it forever. It's really messy, and it's gross. I will repurchase this um, at some point when I need another foundation. Really, really love this, especially for dry skin. It's super dewy, super fresh, and just makes your skin look beautiful. So this one would be a keeper, but it's gone, so it's not. Okay, these two Maybelline foundations. I have the two Fit Me foundations, the Matte and Poreless and the Dewy and Smooth. I have them both in the lightest shade, which is 110 Porcelain, although as you can tell, even just through the bottle, they're not actually the same. They're, they're pretty different. Um, I did a video on these a long time ago. I used to wear this. This used to be my all-time favorite foundation. These are ancient, ancient, like years old. There's no way they're good anymore, and I don't wear them anymore, so these I'm just gonna toss. 
I would buy these again. I like them, but I think since then I found other things I like more, but just for a really basic drugstore foundation, I think they're great. And my favorite way to wear them is actually to mix the two formulas. So again, this is something I like, but something that needs to be tossed. This It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50. I mean, It Cosmetics, the names, you gotta tone that shit down. But I really like this. This is the second one I've had. I finished one a while back and then my mom bought this for me for Christmas. I use the color Fair and it's just really easy to use. I did a video on this as well a long time ago and you can build this up to a pretty full coverage foundation, but I tend to reach for it more when I just want like something lighter, like a BB cream type thing. I just like apply this lightly with my fingers. I think it works really well. I think it works for a lot of different skin types just based on what I've seen and I will definitely be keeping this. Okay, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro to Glow in the color 201 Classic Ivory. If, again, if you saw that Drugstore Fails video, I hate this. I hate it. I really, really hate it. I've kept it for months because I keep thinking that, that I'm wrong, that there's something I'm doing that I'm gonna find a way to use it and every once in a while I pull it out and every single time I hate it. So I'm gonna stop trying to force myself to use this and just get rid of it, which feels like a major win. Okay, the Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer from The Balm. I have this in lighter than light. If you have super fair skin, this is a great tinted moisturizer. I'm just not a tinted moisturizer person, I guess. I just, I don't know. I like foundations. I have light foundations that I like. I have that It Cosmetics CC Cream. I would reach for my, like a light layer of my L'Oreal True Match Lumi over this. I did get it on Hot Look, but it was well over a year ago and I don't use it enough. So I think it's time to get rid of this one, which is kind of sad. I mean, I do like it. I did use it. I'm just never using it anymore and it's just taking up space. So this one is gonna go. Okay, I have two cushion foundations left. This I'm counting as a separate foundation, but it's actually a refill for this cushion. So you kind of get like a two for one. This is the Hura UV Mist Cushion. I do not know if I'm saying that the right way. Hura, Hera, it's a Korean brand. In fact, somebody actually brought this back from Korea. Um, and I really like this cushion. It's kind of the first cushion that I had a, that I really used and experienced and enjoyed. It has a little bit of a fragrance to it, but I've gotten used to it. It just gives a really nice, like, this one's kind of starting to dry out, a really nice, like decent amount of coverage with a lightweight feel. I feel that way about both of these cushion foundations and I wear this one a lot, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to use the refill when I run out and it has SPF 50, which I think is amazing. And I'm pretty sure you can get this on like the Mimi Box website or something like that. It's not cheap, it's not cheap, but I am glad that I have it. Oh, and mine is in the color C21. And then this final one is the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I recently talked about this in, I did a first impressions video on this and then a follow up with a review and I love this one as well. I really, really, shit. Oh, okay, I broke it. Anyway, I love this one as well. I really, really do. I think it's totally overpriced. I think all these cushion foundations are, but it gives me a super natural look. I can get a solid medium coverage. If I use a brush, it lasts all day. It's not too dewy. It's not mattifying at all. I think it's just a beautiful all-purpose foundation. My one complaint, which I forgot to mention in that video, is that there's no SPF in it because cushion foundations are kind of known for having SPF. And I also saw that the one they came out with in Australia has SPF, which kind of made me jealous and a little bit mad that they didn't put SPF in ours. So yeah, man, whatever. Okay, so yes, I just broke this, but I'm definitely keeping it and I really like it and I would feel better about the price if they sold refills so that you could just, you know, but obviously they shouldn't do that because the packaging is crap. Okay, I'm keeping six of these. Well, these are like a repeat and this one, I don't know. We'll see, but at the moment I have six and I'm getting rid of six. Okay, so here is everything I'm keeping. It now fits really nicely into this drawer, which I'm excited about. I am keeping 15 and getting rid of 10. I'm happy with it. It fits nicely in this drawer. I only have a handful of foundations to be working through and I'm excited to start kind of rotating through these primers more now that I can see them. 
and reach for them more easily. Let me know if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you here next time. I think my next video is going to be my concealers and powders. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.